All right, House of Pain fans, yesterday I was having a conversation with another fan about season 12. You know, the hype is real. Uh, you know, we got Calvin Jr., we have Jasmine, we have Janine coming March 22nd. Or should I say, they will be coming at some point during season 12, which begins on March 22nd. Now, I couldn't tell you that. If in the first episode of the season, we're going to see, you know, Janine back, Jasmine back. I honestly don't think so. Based on the episode synopsis for the season opener, which I've already done a video on, it seems to be focusing more so on, you know, the aftermath of the truck explosion. Uh, and then it's like, obviously, Curtis survived, but, you know, he's going to be trying to figure out what happened because he's going to feel that somebody tampered with the truck. But... In terms of season 12, there needs to be something to draw in ratings. And what I was talking about with the other fan was, you know, they brought up the subject of, you know what, given that the Family Fun Night trailer, 30 seconds long, showcased three shows. But when you really think about it, there needed to be, you know, a little bit more Janine or maybe Jasmine, but somewhere down the line three weeks from today that's when the shows come back we're probably going to get a solo house of pain promo even if it's no more than 15 seconds long and during that 15 second promo showcasing various scenes from season 12 that's when we might see jasmine on screen or a better shot of janine where it's more than just like half of her face and body so that would be a ratings draw and to put it into perspective, going back to season 11, when you look at the, uh, and this is crazy when you think about it here, but when you look at House of Pain, season 11's premiere, what's in a pain name? Because remember the big cliffhanger was, did Janine die in the uh, plane crash? That got a 0.74 rating. Now, the between episodes 2 and 22 of that season, no other episode even touched a 0.7. I'm looking at the ratings right now. The closest episode was a 0.65 Coco Parenting, and that was episode 20. Now, going back to uh, season 10... Not a single ep. Oh, actually, one episode did reach 0.71, episode 16, painfully honest, but no other episode did. Everything else was, um, you know, below a 0.7. You have to go all the way back, all the way back to season nine, episode 23, Parenting 101, which got a 0.80. So the premiere from season 11 has been the highest ranked episode since December 30th, 2020. That's crazy. That is crazy. But we all know that Janine and Jasmine would bring in the ratings. Hell, if you go back to uh, season nine, which was the opening season for BET's, you know, rebirth or revival of House of Pain. Ratings skyrocketed whenever promos showcase Jasmine in them. So I'm thinking that whenever we get to a point where the episode where Jasmine is supposed to return, assuming it's, you know, just one episode, but hopefully it's more than one, we're going to see ratings go through the roof. Assisted Living will not have any hope of catching them because unless they have Medea on there or some sort of crossover, I don't think Assisted Living will see these numbers that... House of Pain might might get if the promo showcased the returning characters. Now, the main subject that me and the other fan were talking about was, hey, do you think that, you know, once we get to the point where the ratings could be seeing a boost, do you think that Janine and, you know, China or Dimitri and China, do you think they'll promote the episodes on their social media? I think yes. But here's the thing, though. In terms of the network, if I were them, 
I would be like, yo, hey, um, could y'all promote the show? Because it would definitely be a ratings draw. From a network perspective, you want to get as many views as you can week as you can week to week. But as a fan, I wouldn't want them to promote the show until they're about to come back. Like, uh, hey, check out House of Pain tonight. I'm coming back in episode eight or, you know, what have you. Because I think it would be a bad move for, you know, fans to get hyped thinking, oh, they're going to come up this week. Okay, they're not. They're going to come up next week. They're not. But then they don't show up till like episode nine or 11 when people have waited months for them to come back. Need I remind you, Assisted Living Season 1, all the promos, Brown and Cora, oh, okay, we got a new cast, but it seems like it's going to be, you know, like the Meet the Brown series. Brown and Cora did not show up until what? Episode 7 or 8? I know they didn't show up for a while. I think it was like a cliffhanger ending of Episode 6 or something when Brown finally showed up. But remember, it took weeks because I think at the time they were airing two new episodes at once. It was like, you know, hey, here are two House of Pain episodes followed by two assisted living episodes. Because I could not imagine the fan outrage if, let's say, assisted living um only got one episode per week. And we would have had to wait like a month and a half for Brown and Cora to finally show up. And even then it wasn't enough to save the show during season one. But I really do feel like it wouldn't be a good move in terms of maintaining viewership because fans would just be waiting week to week for nothing. I mean, a lot of people will probably be like uh, waiting for people like me to review the show to be like, okay, well, Janine and Jasmine came back. I'll just watch it, you know, when I get the spare time as opposed to watching it, um, you know, during the time it's actually airing on TV. Not to mention... You would want to do what you could to get ratings up because once Family Fun Night returns, that's when Sisters is gone. You know, it's off the air. So people really won't be checking uh, on BET during that, you know, nine o'clock time slot that they usually would for a Sisters episode. So I think it is up to you how you would want them to do it. I think at the very least, whenever Janine and Jasmine will appear in an episode, it would be cool for the actors to actually promote it online. That way fans are made aware. But on the flip side, I'd rather them, you know, just promote their episode as opposed to just saying, I'm returning, and then have fans guessing as to when they're actually coming back. But I'm thinking that our weekly trailers will get after a new episode airs. That's gonna tell us when they're coming back. That's just a guess. You know, because of the fact that, you know, uh, when Madam showed up in Sisters, it wasn't a secret. They promoted the hell out of that. This is my cousin, Madam. Oh, nice to meet you. Now, how can I help you? They really promoted that. So I think they'll do the same thing with House of Pain. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you think the return of Jasmine and Janine could help the ratings for season 12? Lord knows the show needs it. And don't even get me started on assisted living ratings. But with that being said... How many episodes do you think they'll return for? I'm just happy they're coming back, to be completely honest. So, with that being said, like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and I will talk to you in the next one.